All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So, we're doing the first monthly water and reservoir levels update for 2025. So starting off in the U.S., along the Colorado River, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, the two reservoirs that are used to release excess water onto the river to make sure that the river's water level stays adequate enough for the pipelines that suck water out of it over into California, providing a decent chunk of Southern California's water supply. Lake Mead avoided disaster recently, a couple of years ago. They had a year where they went through a massive recovery the entire year long and got back up into the 1080s in terms of elevation feet as the lake system is measured by elevation feet or the surface, the height of the water surface above sea level, not the depth of the lake. So after having gone down towards only a thousand elevation feet, it recovered back up to about 1080 and over the course of last year declined down to about 1060. And thus far, over the final months of last year and the first few days of this year, it has climbed up to about 1064. And for reference, Lake Mead would be full at about 1,227 elevation feet. And the final level at which water could pass through the turbines to power the dam would be at about 950. And the lowest level from which water could be released or extracted is around 890. And remember that most of these reservoirs are flooded canyons, so they get more and more narrow the further down you go. Thus, each foot of water level you go down contains less water than the foot above it did. The other major reservoir along the Colorado River, Lake Powell, had a similar massive recovery in 2023 as well, having gotten down to only about 3,520 elevation feet, whereas its intakes for the turbines were at about 3,490. That's when the power generation would have had to shut down. It jumped back up close to 3,600 and declined normally last year and has gone went through its normal recovery phase that it would seasonally see just has not normally been enough to actually keep it from declining long term and is continuing on its normal downward phase of the year as we go into this year and is at about 3571 down in Arizona or at least Phoenix where basically most of Arizona's population lives they measure the surrounding reservoirs collectively as they don't really have any one or two that are particularly larger than all the others. They have a collection of them. And collectively, in total, they are about 71% full as of this moment, whereas at this time last year, they were at 81% full. And the year before that, they were up in the 90s, as they also got a deluge that year and were able to recover after being down to about 60. Over in California, although... The big reservoirs are located up in the north. That water is responsible for the supply across all of California because of the interconnected California aqueduct system. And the two main big ones that come up the most, Lake Shasta and Lake Orville. Lake Shasta had a mega recovery as well that same year, 2023. After being down to only 930 elevation feet, it got back up to about 1067, which is its maximum. It declined down close to about 1,000, recovered back up close to full, and now has last year declined down close to 980 and has gone back up above 1,000 again, but is starting to level off this time at about 1,030 elevation feet. Lake Orville had actually gone a couple of years ago, back in 2021 and 2022, having gone below the intake level for the turbines, which is at about 640 elevation feet, whereas Lake Orville is full at about nine, whereas Lake Orville is full at about 900. And after having been all the way down at 628 elevation feet at one point, during the 2023 super rain year, Lake Orville recovered all the way back up to full, declined again, recovered back up close to full again, and then last year, 2024, and then last year, 2024, re-entered a very steep decline from which it has recovered a bit back up into the 800s and is at the moment around 830. 
but with the particular angle on things at the moment, it does not look like it's going to get back up close to full before entering this year's declination phase. Over in Colorado for the Denver area, they also use a collective reservoir percentage system as there's a lot of reservoirs around that they draw for that area. And most of them are in the 80s or 90s in terms of percent full. Texas, the state of Texas, also does a collective percentile system, and about 74% is Texas is the current water supply rough average across reservoirs throughout Texas. Although that's not, again, evenly distributed, there are reservoirs that are much lower than others. Particular, particular cities or areas that are zones of concern that have their local supply very low are at the moment San Angelo, San Antonio, and Laredo, or basically the entire south, or basically the entire southern part of Texas. San Antonio does also draw water from the Edwards, I believe it is, aquifer. However, that is also a concern. Again, even the water level in the aquifer is measured in elevation feet and is currently at 627, whereas the red alert level would be if it got down to about 575, and full would be up around 750. Cape Town, South Africa, famous for almost completely running out of water a few years back, did end up getting back up to 100% full collectively across its different reservoirs, and has very gradually lost water level over the last year or two, and is currently at 88% for the reservoirs supplying the city. Elsewhere in South Africa, Johannesburg is looking half and half as the reservoir is immediately close to the city, which obviously supply the city and that metro area are at about 85%, down from about 91 last year, so not that much of a drop. However, the reservoirs farther away from the city, many of which are the bigger ones, are at about 68%, which is decently down from the 94% they collectively were at last year at the same time. So, possible concern for Johannesburg instead of Cape Town this time, but we'll see. Over in Australia, not too much concern. Sydney's total water supply across all its reservoirs is at a collective 94%, and Brisbane is between 87 and 88% as of the present moment. Where the more bleak prospects lie at the present moment is in one place, Tunisia, who has repeatedly, two years in a row now, gotten pretty close to running out of water on a national scale, getting down to 18 or 19% in terms of their total remaining water supply in their reservoirs nationwide. And in 2023, at the very end of the year, they got massive amounts of rainfall that jumped them back up to 36% really fast, and then more normal amounts throughout the first half of last year which kept them around that level before they started to descend in the summer, getting down to less than 20% again. And instead of getting a massive deluge of rain this time, they've only been getting trickling normal amounts. So since November, they've been really gradually building their way back up, but they are back up to around or just below 24% for their national total water supply as of the moment. And this time, I was able to actually get active, or at least recently active, actual water levels for the Euphrates River in Iraq, or in the southern portion. It has actually increased, it has actually regained some volume, some water level, from the recent, ba from the recent bad low that it hit at about 10.3 meters. That was back during the summer. And over the last six months, it has regained close to a meter of water level, growing from 10.33 back up to 11.14. Now that's still about three or four meters short from where it was even as recently as 2019 and 2020, but it is still heading in the preferred direction, which is water level recovery. But anyways, that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. 
There's a link in the description to a Google Drive folder with all kinds of different graphs, charts, data compilations, and everything uh, across all kinds of different subjects and metrics. There's a link to my photography Instagram, a link in the top end comment to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.